Good day, coders. We are running our favorite foods app. And right now, when we hit this display button, the app pulls all the records from the database and displays all of the different foods in the data table. This will show you how to alter your read records call so it only displays some of the records from the data table. Notice that there's this category of dessert and we scroll through and then there's another category of snack and another category of main dish and there's salads and all these different foods are associated with a category. So right now it's showing all the foods, but what if we only wanna show, say the foods where the category is snack? So looking at the data table, this is the foods table, and you can see that it has a category column. And in that category, there are different values. There's dessert, there's snack, there's main dish, there's salad, and we'll show you how to set up your read records call so that let's say it only filters, only returns from the category column, only returns the records where the category column has the value of snack. So it would return records four, five, and 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So only those seven records. Right now in the code, the way it's working is when we click the display button, that's an on event display button, we go to the display screen and we immediately read records from the foods table. And notice that this second parameter between the curly brackets is blank. That means that it'll read all the records from the data table, but we can filter so that it only returns some records. And we can do that by putting the column name. So the column is category and the records we want to see are everything in the category column where the value is snack. So translating this to plain English, English this says, read records from the foods table table and return all the records where the category column has the value of snack. And so if we reset to get the code freshened up and display, notice now when we scroll through, it only is showing us foods where the category is snack. So that second parameter here in the read records call allows you to filter so that it pulls back only a set of records that you want. Now this is a little bit unrealistic because we are hard coding snack in here. We probably want our user to be able to pick the category. So let's wire up this dropdown, which I'll show you on the design tab. This is called the category search dropdown. So we'll create a new variable. So we want to allow it so that the user can pick the category and then we'll only display the category that the user picked rather than snack every single time. So the way we'll do that is we have to create a variable. So let's say var uh, user, or let's say chosen category. So the category that a user chose, and that's going to be equal to whatever they put in the dropdown. So to get the value of a dropdown, how do we do that? We use our get text and put the dropdown name, which the code completion will supply us. Category search is what it's called. So now the value of chosen category will be whatever the user picks in the dropdown. So instead of grabbing always the snacks, let's grab chosen category, which equals whatever the user picked. So if we run it and the user picks main dish and we hit display, then it's gonna read from the foods table where the category column has the value main dish. And we hit display and it shows us only the main dishes, chicken tikka masala and lasagna, the two main dishes. So that's how you use this filter parameter to read records, only certain records from the data table. And by using it, connecting it to that dropdown, we allow the user to select which records from the database they are interested in seeing. So there you go, read records, filtering for only certain values. Thank you.